Hello, okay, we go to uh, explain about the conjugate of a third. So before I talk about conjugate of third, you have to how to uh, rationalize a, a third, right? Means you want to convert a third into a, a rational number, all right? For example, if I have square root of two, square root of two itself is a third, right? It's a third. So if you want to convert it become a rational number, for a single third, all right? Okay, one third. Right, a single third number. So you have to multiply with another third itself. Because you know that square of A multiply with square of A, you will have A. Alright? Uh, if two identical square root, the A, two identical number, when the square root and the square root you multiply, you get A, right? So for example, this you will get 2, right? Uh, so if you want to convert a ratio, uh, irrational number like third into a rational number all right so you have to uh, <coughs> multiply with another third all right uh, just like complex number if you have imaginary number you multiply with another imaginary number then you will produce a, uh, a rational number right or real number so for this case uh, this is a rational number okay we talk so uh, all right let's say if I have square root of 27 right square of 27 so this is actually a uh third so you have to multiply to itself to get a rational number so okay before that let's say you have a uh, 4 over square root of uh 2 right 4 square of 2 so to simplify a third that are in division, this is a division of a third, so you have to multiply uh, a conjugate, okay, a conjugate, but for this, this is just a single third, right, one third, without plus, only one term only, so you multiply to itself, uh, means a denominator and denominator itself by square root of 2, square root of 2, so you have 4 square root of 2 divided by Square of 2, square of 2, you have 2. Then 2, 2. So the denominator already become 2, a rational number. So you have 2 square root of 2. Okay? Uh, 2 square root of 2. So let's say if I have a negative square root of 3 divided by square root of uh, when uh, let's say I have 40, right? Uh, how to simplify this type of uh, third, right? So the division, so very simple. At first you multiply, at first you must convert the denominator. The denominator become a rational number. So negative square root of 3 over square root of 40, very easy because only one. So you multiply by itself. Uh, if you multiply 2, you will get a rational number without the square root. So you have a uh, square root of 40. Then you will have negative square root of 3 multiplied with square root of 40. The first objective here is you convert this become rational first. Later only you start to simplify. So square root of 40 and square root of 40, you have 40, right? 40. Nah, this is already a rational number. So then square root of 3, then further you break this up into uh, 4 times 10, I think. 4 times with 10. Alright? 4 times 10. So, uh, so then you have negative square root of 3 multiply with square root of 4 multiply with square root of 10. So which uh, divided by 40. Then you have negative square root of 4, you have 2, right? You have 2 and then you apply this concept. Square of A, square of B is square of A multiply B. So, then you have square root of, because this 2 already you can't simplify further, so you multiply them together. 3 times 10, you have 30 divided by 40. So, you have negative 1 over 20 square root of 30, right? Uh, so this is uh, when 
That has a single uh, third in the denominator. So, same thing. Let's say you have uh, uh, 4 over square root of 7. Simplify this. Very easy. You just multiply with uh, square root of 7. Multiply by itself. Okay. Multiply by itself. So, you have 4 square root of 7 on top. Square root of 7, square root of 7. You will get 7. Right. Uh, now, become a number without the square root. Alright. It's rational. So, uh, this is how you deal with a single set in the denominator. Alright, let's look at the next.